opening game for him. He's had more than a few lately. And that's it for us here in the studio. Time to send it on back out to Kevin Harlan and the gang for the start of the second half. Beautiful view here flying north of the city of Dallas, Texas. As we welcome you back. How about O.J. Mayo in this 12 points? And he's been successful twice from three-point range today. And he'd love to make a couple more of them, too, I'm sure. It makes things so much easier for him inside when he's out beyond the arc knocking down shots. And that's trail by 10. And you have to give the... Ownership, a lot of credit for the Mavs' success over the years, guys. A lot of people may not agree with uh, things he has to say, but you can't argue with the success that he's had. He spent his money, his resources, he's put a ton of passion and energy into building that franchise, and uh, it's, it's developed into one of the best in the entire league. Our second half is underway, and here's who Avery Johnson's got on the floor. Johnson, Wallace, and Humphreys are the two, three, and four in order. Brooke Lopez is out there with Darren Williams. Collison, no good. You talk about passionate ownership on the sideline, actively involved in crafting the roster and the fan experience. You don't get much better than Dallas. From the top all the way down, it's all about winning and not afraid to push for what's best for the NBA. And I think he wants the best for his players, too, and that's why, as a player, You've got to love, admire, and respect that. You know that he wants to win just as much as you do, and it's easy to go the extra mile and commit to a team where that's the case coming from ownership. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. Now, severe lack of awareness on his part. He had no idea who he's, he was near the out-of-bounds line. Nets trail by eight. Joe Johnson on the wing. Over Mayo. Joe Johnson again. Johnson's got seven. Well, Joe Johnson, particularly now that he's later in his career, has become primarily a perimeter shooter. He used to get to the rim uh, a lot more, taking advantage of that big, strong body. But he's also got great footwork, and he's an excellent shooter. So he's pretty good from mid-range and beyond. Just four to shoot. Mayo, the pass to Nowitzki. Sinks the triple. Seven points in the game. Well, when you combine Dirk's height with his touch and his release, which is basically behind his head, he becomes impossible to defend. And unless he's just missing his jump shot that night, you're, you're in for a long night. Especially when you couple it with his knack for playing with his back to the basket when he wants to. Often Dirk will catch it on the low block, lean into a defender to create some space, and then the next thing you know, he's up in the air knocking down that jumper. And Joe Johnson, a jump shooter, as you mentioned, Steve, gets about two-thirds of his shots from mid-range and out. But, Kevin, he's really a good shooter from everywhere. I mean, when he does go inside, he finishes well. And he's got a nice in-between game with his floater. He's got the full package, I think, offensively, and he's much stronger and quicker than he appears. The alley-oop way up. Very well done. And it's an 11-point Maverick lead. Boy, they saw the opening for that alley-oop, guys, and they didn't waste any time. Well, those openings don't stay there for long, that's for sure. That's right. It's got to be an immediate play because those defenses are so fast. Well, he's been scoring pretty well on just a few attempts. It might help them out if he was a bit more assertive. Dallas calls timeout. Well, Dirk Nowitzki's going to walk away from his career with a number of distinctions. Best European player ever. Best shooting seven-footer of all time. Obviously one of the game's all-time great scorers. First ballot Hall of Famer. Not bad for a skinny kid out of West Germany. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Eldon Brands checked in for Kamen. Carter comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Dante Jones, he's checked in for Sean Marion. And Delonte West is subbed in for O.J. Mayo. Here's Collison. Darren Williams picking up that last basket. Kicks it out to Jones. Collison dishes to Jones. Jones off a pick from Carter. Back to Collison. And the pass to Jones. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Takes the three. And it's Collison that time on the assist by Jones. Collison's got his first three points of the game. 
We talk about all that Dirk Nowitzki has achieved. When he was taken ninth back in 1998, who could have imagined how his career would develop? In fact, he was drafted by Milwaukee and then traded for Robert Tractor Trailer. Unbelievable. Not many, Kevin, and as much as he opened the door even wider for European players, it's been his work ethic and dedication to the game that's really put him in a class by himself, and that really separates the vast majority of the great players, Kevin. Work ethic and dedication. Williams attacking. What? Well, I tell you what, guys, his struggles from the field have definitely taken their toll on the team today. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Watson's shot is good. Well, you've got to like the focus that they're showing here in the second half. I see a lot more effort as well. I mean, it's amazing when you lock in mentally and bring some energy and intensity, things can pick up in a positive way for you. Here's Collison. After the basket by Brooklyn. Back to Carter. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. i tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Chris Kamen's checked in for Brand. Novitsky comes in for Vince Carter. Sean Marion is checked in for Dante Jones. And it's Mayo in for Darren Collison. The Nets also changing it up. Brook Lopez is checked in for Humphreys. Wallace comes in for Reggie Evans. And it's Johnson in for C.J. Watson. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Eldon Brand's checked in for Kamen. Carter comes in for Dirk Novitsky. Dante Jones, he's checked in for Sean Marion. And it's Bobo in for O.J. Mayo. Shot and game clock separated by five. Dallas, no good that time either. Nets trailed by four. Outside Williams. Johnson outside. It's up a three. And that one's good. Johnson's got 12 in the game. West kicks to Brand. Watch out, watch out now. Defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, the D pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I like you, that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He oh. shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Your Mavericks. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up, and we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game segment. Doris? Kevin, our uncontainable game in this one, the stretch by the Mavericks. They put on a show at the defensive end. Most of their heroics coming in that second period. It's easy to build a lead like this one when you play great defense. Okay, Doris, thanks. That scoring run, guys, was pretty key in this game so far, don't you think? Yeah, very much so, Kevin. I mean, that was like a runaway train there for a while. No stopping them. Uh, that really blew the game open. Well, you bet it did. I mean, when you've got one team in such terrific offensive rhythm and the other guys on their back feet, tentative, hesitant, it almost always leads to runs like that. Dirk and Kamen, they're inside. Collison is out there with Mayo, and it's Marion in at the small forward. It's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Wallace misses. An excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Novitski for three, and that one's good. And it's an eight-point Maverick lead. Boy, he's been so cool out there. Composed, never rattled. I mean, a very steady contributor to the offense. And here's Watson. But they'll get another chance. Here's Johnson. And again, it's the Nets missing. And no defender was around him to influence that shot. It didn't hurt them there, but, you know, they can't make that mistake twice. Collison kicks to Mayo. Back to Collison. A three. Another three for Dallas. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do when a team gets this hot from three-point land. All you can really do is hope that they cool off. I mean, the way it's going for them in the second half here, I don't see any sign of that happening. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I was able to listen in on what Avery Johnson was going over with his team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stop, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? Thank you, Doris. Very poor shot selection there, guys. The shot's good from Lopez. You know, I think, Kevin, they took a bit of a chance there going to the double team, and that left another guy open out there. Joe Johnson, he's checked in for Marshawn Brooks. 
Mavericks leading by nine. Collison kicks to Kamen. And the powerful one-handed slam. That's decent defensive work, but it's going to take a little more than that, Kevin. They've got to raise their bar. Well, Clark, he knew exactly how to attack Yeah, him he sure one. did. He nope. knew exactly what he wanted to do there. Mm -hmm. What a phenomenal dunk, though. I mean, in the end, he just made the play and took off. Inside. And there's Gerald Wallace on the assist by Humphreys. And it's six points for Wallace. That's an old-fashioned finish there, guys. Going to the finger roll to get the easy two. Lopez over to help. Collison, he's guarded by Williams. Kamen fires. The shot's good. Collison making the play. Play. And it's eight points for Chris Kamen. They can do no wrong offensively. Everything's dropping, guys, and that confidence, it gets infectious and contagious. That shot wide open. They're on track here in the second half after their less than impressive first half. And I think they came out with some tired legs to start. But they've turned it around. They found some energy, and they look a lot more active and engaged. Well, Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> It's Mayo on the wing. He's guarded by Johnson. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Collison. Marion. Polish on him. With one on the clock. Brooklyn with the rebound. Johnson's got his third rebound on the night. He kicks it to Wallace. And it's Brooklyn scoring again. I think he's done his part to try to keep him in this game. It's been a solid effort from him, guys. And stolen by Darren Williams. And here we go. And it's Wallace slamming it down. I'm not sure which was better, the fast break or the steal that got it started. I think it was the defense, Steve, quite honestly. I mean, the whole play isn't even possible if he doesn't make the steal. Here is Collison. Feeds it to Mayo. Williams comes with the double team. Came in, passes to Nowitzki. Connects from three-point range. Well, another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, the last five hoops, three have come off wide open three-pointers, Clark. So it's one thing to give up one, but you start giving three-pointers up in bunches, you're in big trouble. Eldon Brands checked in for Dallas. Collison against Williams. Humphreys with a screen on Collison. A shot by Williams, no good. You know, I get the feeling he's pressing here a bit. There's a fine line between being intense and focused and being aggressive. Oh, oh man, that was a real hard to do. It wasn't bad defense, but he got overpowered. There's not enough strength to stop him. You know, sometimes you just try to avoid the foul part and not get in the way. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no question. You guys are right. I mean, he seemed to think better of it and then backed off a little bit at the end. The sprite replay really gave you a good look at the action. Mayo kicks to Mary. Collison. Right side, Collison. Just five on the clock. He dishes it to Nowitzki. And stolen by Darren Williams. Yeah. He oh, look out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Great finish there, Kevin. Took it strong to the cup. Yeah, an aggressive two-handed jam. And that's the kind you like, especially in traffic. you got to make sure. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. Just making it look easy at the line and making their lead look a little more comfortable, too. Here is Williams. Fades and shoots. Rebounded by Marion. Hammers at home. Yeah, this is a done deal here. They've pretty much finished this team off. Yep, we can put this one in the books. Too much to overcome now. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Well, it's time to say so long.
Scott, for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Dirk Nowitzki.